Okay, let's check up on Scalopad. Scalopad. Oh, Lord. We gonna start off with Kimmy saying we gotta figure out what we're doing with the comeback group. Not shit. Not shit. You ain't doing nothing with the comeback group. The comeback group is gone. It came and it went. So she letting him know Melody ain't fooling with him. And I'm like, yes, because it was a stupid idea. It sounded good, but the shit was not working. There wasn't enough money. I don't think there was enough credit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So they gonna set up a little Ponderosa to discuss the defunct group. Marceau run by to see Maurice to let him know what he gonna say at the meeting before the meeting. Ooh, child, Martel. Martel is a deflectionist. He's like, okay, I'm gonna pick at Marceau since I'm going since my infidelity is exposed and I'm in the hot seat. Let me start some more mess. He said Marceau sitting standing there looking like he lied about something right now, and he does. He does. Now Marceau says, look, I'm not the liar you are, and I expect that from you. Okay, so Maurice wants the specifics, and so do I. I don't know how Maurice and Marceau could be from the same anything. I, ooh, Lord, I mean, that's mm, city miles. Marceau got them city miles. Oh, Lord, and in comes Scalapad. Lord, I, they did insinuate that um, they pulled some shit with the 47 acres, but don't nobody give a fuck about that because we're focused on the infidelity. So Maurice came with a buyout agreement. <laughs> Child, he done. Oh, so now they don't want to be bought out, but they want to dissolve. I mean, how much you going to offer them to buy them out? How much is the group even worth? Oh, Lord, Tish loves to get upset at these meetings. You haven't mentioned the coop, you haven't mentioned the comeback group at all. In nothing, in nothing, child, whether they mentioned it or they didn't, it still doesn't have any value if y'all ain't build these homes together. I swear, Scalaphead, your phone always fucked up because you never get texts. Tisha told you she was upset with you because you made that comment about why her man ain't have on her ring because he was out there doing the cheetah Wait, wait, whoa, 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 Marceau. Whoa, 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 Marceau. He ain't say shit about Maurice. He said you had 20 girlfriends, dear. You. Child, I see, ooh, I see you trying to deflect and defray. Deflect and defray. Martel said, I ain't say shit about Maurice. You better say it. I ain't say shit about Maurice. Uh-uh. And Tisha, like, looking at him like, you really been, yes, girl, he's been cheating on you and treating you like shit. Honestly, I could deal with the outside puss as long as ain't no outside baby, but that shit treatment, honey, that's a no-no. Y'all are gone. Please, you lying-ass heifers. You lying-ass heifers standing in a model home. You probably didn't even construct. They gonna say, oh, now we've got lawyers. You gonna throw good lawyer money away on a group that never did shit? I think the fuck not. How the hell you gonna look at Tish and when she asks you, is there any truth? I can't answer that for you. See, and the thing is, she's used to that kind of treatment. And that's why she didn't knock your teeth down your throat. But that's where they should be. Somewhere around your soft palate and your trachea. Oh, Lord, he gonna say if the last 12 years can't... No, answer the question. Lie or tell the truth. But it's time to get to lying or get to fessing. You gotta pick your poison. But don't do that. Oh, I'm not gonna answer if the last 12... Please. The last 12 years of you treating her like garbage? I am. I don't know. To me, that says Chitete. I wanna know why the question is a question. Go on and say there's no truth to it and get caught in your lies. It took him 80 minutes to say no. 80 minutes! Chai could have made a roast. Okay, now Martel with his friends. Are these the friends that don't cheat or do they cheat too? Do they have 20 girlfriends like Marceau? Oh my God, the mistress... Lord. So the mistress not only had your number, but then when your wife answered the phone and said, let me speak to Martel, put my man on the line. I swear, I don't know why you keep trying to justify it. Well, it was just one woman. It was a whole ass relationship. She probably could have dealt with strumpets, thoughts, and trot and tramp tr harlots that were, you know, random and insignificant. 
But you had like a serious relationship and supposedly bought a Mercedes for this woman. Like why 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 is any cheating okay? Does she get to have one man? Does she? You know, honestly, Martel give me a, I could see him with a threesome with another man T. I could see it. I could see it. Then the uncle gonna say, oh, well, you had one girlfriend. That's why she's trying to hang around because she thought you were hers. No, she hangs around because he allows it. If he wasn't giving her no dick, no money, no time or attention, she'd move on. Then he gonna say it was hard to write her off. But I thought she was a peasant. And <laughs> You never write a peasant on, so how can you write him off? Now he has backpedaling, pussy popped. Backpedaling, pussy popped. He said, well, really, back when all this started, I was doing everything, and I felt Mel wasn't doing what I asked her to do, and that's how this started. So if you blame Mel, and if she ain't giving you what you need, move on and divorce. Child, I got to fast forward through all this whining. It went on and on. You gotta call your mama as a grown woman with kids to check your husband. See, see, Letitia, you, you got the game fucked up. Nobody taught you how to woman. If you gotta go to your mama to check your husband, nobody taught you how to woman. Nobody. The fuck? I ain't never heard of no backwards ass shit like that. Girl, I think Marceau has been unfaithful to you many times and you know about it. You seem like that type of girl who'd be the joke of her marriage. But he also seems like such a piece of shit wouldn't no woman brag about having him. Oh my God, the mama said, look, if you ain't fucking him four days out of seven, you're slipping. You're slipping. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. If y'all ain't fucking, ain't no reason to be married. If you don't want to fuck the man no more, leave him. It's okay. Find somebody that interests your vagina. If it ain't him no more, move on. Hell, I've been saying that. Uh, hell, I've been saying that to Simone for three damn seasons. Jackie, too. Hold the fuck on. Now you gonna say, oh, I don't talk about sex with my mama. Uh, but you asked her to check your husband. Shit, she better teach you how to fuck him. Okay, Melody, if you felt like you were done, then why didn't you move out the house like you did before? Or force his ass out? Or poison him? Nothing lethal, just something to, you know, get him out the house for six to eight months. Martell, I want to be perfect this, I want to be perfect that. Girl, you wasn't a perfect football player because you didn't make it to the NFL, so... I don't know why you're striving for all this perfection. Just do your best, but your best is clearly not enough. Melody, you're showing up because they paid you. Okay? They paid you. That's why. It ain't about obligate. It's about you cash that check and you spent your deposit. I hope that baby isn't Martell's. I would say all of these women really need to learn how to truly disrespect their men. On a constant basis. If you're going to be with somebody who ain't shit, give them the same energy back. I'm sorry, if I had any one of these husbands, they, there's, the forehead would be full of scars from toasters, blenders. I'll throw anything I can at you. Get the ass. One good time. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through her speaking engagement because I don't give a shit. Go out and get married on the ass. Pull a little bigamy stunt. Okay, we got a little family barbecue with Marcel and Marceau's mama. And I guess this is when she going to check um, Marceau for their marriage. Oh, oh, wait, no, she ain't gone um, check them. It's her new house. Okay, we can fast forward through this. I'm glad you bought your mama a house. That's fabulous. Ooh, okay, so the mama looked like uh, Maurice. I don't know whose child Marceau is. I think they just, you know, got him from some basket. And he act like he out of somebody's basket. A bargain bin. Maybe Marceau is so ugly because he's ugly on the inside. Okay, so now we gonna go to a cabin for the weekend to try to sh get shit back on track with the comeback group. That friend of um, whoever's is inviting them. All right, now we got Tish sitting down with Scallop Head for a contentious lunch. Okay, so Tish is, Tish is whining about, oh, well, you ain't reach out to me when my family passed. She's selfish and a narcissist, just like her husband. Why do you expect somebody to give you something that she's never given you? Now, Mel says, Tisha, Tish starts shit, and then, you know, 
she plays victim, throwing a rock, hiding her hand. I, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. She real mealy mouth, real weak. So yeah, that tracks. Oh, so now uh, Scallop Head mad that Tish didn't get her out the house. But Tish can't leave her house herself. You know she's married to that ogre who keeps her chained in the kitchen like a scullery maid. Why is Tish hair so greasy? Because she does it at home. And she's not very good at it. Now she bring up the uh, cheating alligator. And Mel is like, um, well, how do you know this shit ain't true? It ain't for me to say it's true. I'm gonna let you find out on your own. Your husband's not only an asshole, but cheating on you. Cheating on you. Scallop Head said, honey, you ain't gonna believe me, so figure that shit out on your own. I can't help you, heifer. I can't help you. Oh, she said, put them kids with a babysitter roll up to the bar if you want to catch your man in the act. How late do bars close in uh, Huntsville? Five or six in the morning, shit here closes at four. Child, okay, maybe he upgraded her to a Mercedes, but back then she was pushing a Beamer. And by she, I mean the mistress. 